Whoa, hey now, a part two of Andy Cooper? I thought I just showed you all the known Andy Cooper autographs, but I forgot there's one thing I really wanted to show and I forgot to talk about, and that is the fake Andy Cooper autograph that's out there. And I don't know how many are out there, but I want to give you a quick background. This is an important story for your advanced autograph collectors. There was a prominent dealer who was selling a lot of rare Negro League autographs on cuts. Yes, I cringe when I hear the word cuts, but this is like really important. I'm going to show you the autograph in a second because uh, at one time I was a victim of one of these autographs. So there's just a lot of tough, tough names on cuts of Hall of Fame autographs. And one of those, and like they're not passing PSA, they're not passing JSA. And one of those out there is Andy Cooper. I don't want to share the name of the person that's selling it or the person that sold it to this person. But the person selling it says, listen, this is an Andy Cooper. It looks just like the one in Ron, in, uh, not Ron, Kevin's book. Uh, and the, the, the original person he bought it from is a very well-known and respected person. So I don't know if that person was duped or not. I don't know. But let's go right to it. Real quickly here, a special follow-up for Andy Cooper. So I guess you can Google it and see what you want about it. But this is an Andy Cooper, quote-unquote, no card right here. And I don't want to get into, like, oh, this is what Andy Cooper should looks like. Because bottom line is you don't buy a cut of Andy Cooper. This is like Roger Connor that we just talked about. Don't buy a cut. Don't look for him. Uh, I mean, he thinks this is close. I don't think this is close. It's uh, and there's no history on this. I mean, again, we're talking about someone who died in 1941, and this is not like the Babe Ruth or even the Josh Gibson for that matter that people were even thinking about getting this as an autograph. This is like an obscure Negro League player that's now very valuable. We're talking obviously five figure autograph. So, just a quick follow up, just say like buyer beware, like just like the Ron Con Roger Connor, do not buy cuts. These are somehow been trickled into the market fortunately psa is cutting them but still i mean catching them but a lot of people are trying to pass these as real so just be careful out there still keep collecting